Johnny is here. Let's say good afternoon. What are you up to? What's going on? I'm taking my shoes off. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, look, you have your shoes off. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, I brought you some food. You brought me food? Yeah. That's like, oh my gosh, it's like dying and going to heaven without the unpleasantness of a funeral. Sit down? Yeah, but, well, of course you can sit down. You don't need permission. Uh, then I'll lie down in that case. <laughs> well, well, I don't know if you want to lie down, but... Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll sit here. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. No, leave it there. You can leave, you can leave, you can leave that. Oh, God, it's so wet. Why? What happened? So this morning, um, I'm on my couch. I'm on one side of the apartment, and I hear the kitchen door open, and I figure somebody's going to come in. And different people have keys to my building, um, so mm -hmm. I wasn't alarmed necessarily. But um, then I heard the kitchen door close, and I thought, gee, it must have been just my imagination. Maybe it was the door upstairs. So, but then later I went into, into the kitchen, and I see on the countertop, <laughs> there's this like giant bag with an intense blue color. And I could, it was almost glowing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And, and of course my first thought was the same thing you would think of that, you know, alien visitation. Oh, absolutely. You know, some, some, some parents on Krypton don't want their kid anymore <laughs> and think I'm going to raise them. No. <laughs> uh, but then I, I realized it's the day before Easter and my, my plumber's wife is always kind enough to bring some food over for me uh, on holidays. Very happy. I love food and I love food that's brought to me. No one ever came in un, un, unexpected and left a bundle of food in my house. Yeah, I, I get that pretty regularly from different people who take pity on me. So. <laughs> well, you took pity on me, and, and I'm grateful for that. Thank Good you. Deal. Look at the little doggies. You want to be on it? You want to be in a little... Hey, Look at that stuff. You want to be in a video? Look at it. Cool. What are you doing with that? Hey, hey, hey man. What? Okay, hey, that's good. Minecraft. Are you listening to me? Oh, I'm going you out. Do Mom is coming home. You built that? Yeah. Oh, excelente. I'm going out. Um, mommy will be home soon. Can you at least look feign interest, like you're interested in what I'm telling you? Look at me. I eat hi people. That was Ethan. He's very interested in his dad. <laughs> Actually, John, <laughs> look. He, he, Maybe you're not his dad. <laughs> <laughs> please tell me now before I have to pay for college, please. <laughs> Never even knew the library was here. Oh, your library. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure what you were expecting. It's a library. And, uh, I don't know. No bells or whistles or anything like that. Well, they had they had a security guard there, which I've never seen that here before. I don't know what that's for. Maybe uh, maybe some romance reader was getting out of hand last week. No, I don't know. Everybody should be reading. It's a good thing. All right. Well, I'll try. Okay. Thank you. Let's get a Let's get a, Let's get a Store stick. Okay, try your strength. You can do it, Johnny boy. I know you can. Uh, I can't. Oh, only there was a strong man around. Oh. All right. Watch this. It can't be done. Yes, it can. No way. What do you think this is like? Thor's hammer? What hammer? <laughs> Wow! There you go. With the noble tree having a cup of coffee. Very nice coffee. I have black ones there. And I don't know what is it. That's some kind of. That's what they call it. Cappuccino. If you look up here, there's a mosaic of, uh, or whatever it's called. Of a, a beaver. Why is that? A beaver. Because John Jacob Astor made his fortune in the beaver trade. Oh, he did? Yeah. You're like a veritable history, a walking history. How do you know that? Somebody, Actually, somebody told me that once, so I thought it was interesting. So Astor was a big beaver man. <laughs> I come to Chinatown once a week. I, I take Mandarin. Say something in, in Mandarin. Uh, that's too long. I am John. That's my name. I used to have a job where I traveled around the world and um, I can speak, I can say please baby please in 14 languages <laughs> and I've heard the word no in as many. <laughs> no John. Forget about it. Look at this. This is fabulous. So we got, we have some, well that I know is broccoli. What is this? Tofu? To tofu? What is that? I don't know. We don't know what that is. That's seaweed and some sort cabbage. of cabbage and it's resting on a bed of uh, brown rice and resting on a bed of brown rice 
I'm wait, wait, starving. Wait. Oh, you're gonna... I, I don't know if I'm strong enough. I'll try. Very satisfied, very happy. Highly recommended. have no idea the name of the place, where it is, or how I never get back. And I'm gonna find out because it's well worth it. We're done? I think that concludes our adventure, unless you have something else. No, I, I think that's it. Yeah. All right. I have no idea where I am, although I'm not far from my house, and how to get home, so we're going to have to work on that. Well, I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to spin you around three times and walk away. <laughs>